Okay, this is the part where I'm going to tell you what actually happens during your colonoscopy. Yeah. Problem is, I don't actually remember a darn thing about it, thanks to the sedation, and you won't either. <laughs> now, I guess I can tell you what I've been told, but you need to ask yourself how much you really want to know. I mean, thinking about this is way worse than actually having it done. And hearing the details may just provide your imagination more fuel than you want. On the other hand, since you're watching this, maybe you're a believer in the idea that knowledge is power. Well, decide now, because we're going in. Okay, seriously? This is the easy part. Before the procedure, you will fill out some paperwork, change into a hospital gown, and get an IV started so the doctor can give you medicine to sedate you. This is a good thing. Now, there are several choices of sedation, but the effect is the same. You will either be totally out or out enough that you won't feel anything or remember anything. And if you don't remember it, it didn't happen, right? You'll then be wheeled into the procedure room and you'll turn over on your side. About then, uh, the doctor will begin the sedation and you might be asked to count backwards from 10. I think I got to eight, maybe, maybe it was three before I checked out. And that's all you will remember. The doctor, on the other hand, will be alert as the scope is inserted into the large intestine. It's kind of a squeeze, but here we are in the large intestine. Now, the doctor will slowly move the scope up the colon, looking for anything abnormal. And as the scope moves, air is inserted to expand the colon, making it easier to see the walls. And what the doctor is looking for are polyps, They're kind of like this one, and other growths that might indicate cancer. If the doctor sees a polyp, he or she will take a snare and run it through the scope tube to lasso that sucker and cut it right off. <laughs> it's a pretty neat maneuver, and it's done with heat to prevent any bleeding. Now, what is really spectacular is that all this good stuff is happening, and you don't feel a thing. Kind of a, kind of an out-of-body, in-body experience. And once the scope reaches the end of the colon, the doctor slowly withdraws it, getting a, a second look around the colon. Okay, time to get out of here. And we're back. The polyps are sent to the lab to make sure that they're benign, which almost all of them are if you've had your screenings when you're supposed to. Yeah, that's why you do it, after all, to nip those little polyps off before they can turn cancerous on you. All right. From the time you go into the procedure room to the time you're wheeled back to recovery is 15, maybe 30 minutes on average. 15 minutes. They're in, they're out, you're good. Then all you have to do is sleep off the sedation. Once you're awake, the doctor will discuss the results with you, and if polyps were removed, You'll get the lab results in a few days. And that's it. Now you get to go home. Ah! Sedation means you'll need somebody to drive you home, even though you will be feeling pretty darn good, but maybe a little too good to be behind the wheel, if you know what I mean. And you're free to eat whatever you like now. You've got a whole day's worth of calories to spend guilt-free, although you might not want to spend them all on the first meal. Give your colon a little break for a job well done. And the next day, most people are bright-eyed and ready to return to their normal routine. Happy to be able to check, get colonoscopy off their to-do list. I know I was.